managing an email list is uh, always been a relatively painful thing for me. Um, typically, what I do is I have an Amazon wish list that I use, and that then sparks more Amazon wish lists for a particular cause or category. And then it just it completely bloats to this unusable thing where I don't even actually go into the reading list. It kind of just piles up like my bookmarks do. Now, I found a good solution to get away from that in Obsidian by taking some of the practices and principles and ideas from bullet journaling and moving them into Obsidian. And one of those ideas is the idea of a collection. So in bullet journaling, you have a spread that you start and then you just start to write down your books and you can add little tag notes and you can categorize them there. And because that's a more difficult uh, effort, it, it forces you to curate the information that you're putting down. I'm doing a very similar thing, but through the daily note in Obsidian. So you can see over here on the right, these are my tags and I have this top level collection tag. So I'm assuming you can do nested tags. So it can be a collection slash whatever. And so I have a collection reading list. And so that's how I've been able to track my books. So typically uh, I stumble upon books when I'm doing research or in more often than not conversation with uh, coworkers and friends. And what I do uh, from a daily note perspective is I just come in here. Today was a good example. I was um, researching for some uh, data storytelling through data. And I found this awesome uh, Google talk or talks at Google. And then down here, I found the books that they had. So if we look at collection reading list, put this in preview. So it's a little prettier. Um, but this storytelling with data, I just wrote down the title here. It has a hyperlink. And then I put the tag of collection reading list slash storytelling. So I've I've, I think around 15 books. Well, no, I've looked, I have 16 books now, but when I got to about 10, it started to get unmanageable again, just like the Amazon wish list did. And so what I've started to do is start to add another nested tag to categorize the books. Because typically when you want to, you have some bandwidth and you want to read a book, um, you want to read the book that you'll devour and the book that you devour will be the one that you're most interested in. And so now with these three levels down of a tag with categorizing them i am able to i'm able to uh, find the books that i'm most interested in right that are most relevant to me at that time so that i can get the right one and devour them but at the same time not just creating a cluttered um, flat level wish list um, and so but the other caveat is is capturing these cannot be painful so that's why i never stuck with the reading list in the bullet journal is i would have to flip back through my planner and write them down. And this this particular tactic right here is way easier and it kind of models Rome research where you just capture the data that you want and you move on. You capture it, tag it, and move on. And so what I've been able to do is just that. If we expand this out, we can see that I have several categories, business, personal development, writing, decision-making, etc. And now it's gotten to the point where um, just scanning this on the right-hand side is kind of cumbersome where I can, you know, flip back through and see all my notes here. I, another book, Game Changers, came up, um, et cetera. Tribes is another one that I'm reading currently. And so you can see each day that I logged it, which is kind of interesting, but it's a pain to browse through this in that way. And so I've started to collect them all in a reading list collection note. So before we take a look at what it looks like, you can use this query language inside Obsidian to pull in all the data from tags that you're doing. So now I'm, I'm creating this curated and dynamic list of all the books I want to read. And so if we preview this, I can now scan very easily and click in to those books if I want to. Now you notice some have hyperlinks, some don't. That's just um, kind of the amount of time that I had and the effort that I wanted to put into it. But this is how I'm managing my reading lists within Obsidian. I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.